Hi, I'm Amy Riken, and I'm at the Enid Haupt Conservatory at the New York Botanical Garden in the Bronx. The New York Botanical Garden occupies 250 acres and was established in 1891. It has a strong research program with scientists engaged in fieldwork to answer questions such as why are plants important and what are their genetic and molecular relationships. The conservatory, the largest in North America, opened in 1901. Orchids have grown on Earth for over 80 million years. This conservatory has an annual show which features an amazing array of species. Visitors can see how orchids vary by size, shape, color, and pattern. Throughout the year, this conservatory serves as a plant rescue center for orchids illegally removed from their native habitat. This conservatory is unique in that it features two separate desert environments. Photos of desert habitats serve as a reminder that in the desert, plants would not grow in such close proximity. This tropical rainforest area features an interesting juxtaposition of a healer's hut and a botanist's research station, serving as evidence that across cultures, humans have studied and used plants. Visitors can question the similarities and differences between indigenous knowledge and scientific knowledge. A 50-acre native forest reminds visitors of the woodlands that once covered New York and suggests that botanical gardens might serve as the lungs of densely populated urban centers. 20% of New York City is parkland and thus there are 4.6 acres of park per every 1,000 residents. By comparison, in Seattle, there are 10.5 acres of park per 1,000 residents. Botanical conservatories and the gardens in which they reside can help us define and question concepts such as sustainability and the classification of plants and knowledge systems. Signing off from the New York Botanical Garden.